Hey Cancer, this is Alex and I'm here to bring you your weekly tarot reading. I hope you guys are doing well and taking care of yourselves. Let's see what God Angels and Universe has for you, Cancer. I'm so sorry for the mix up on last week's video. That was a YouTube error or video error, but hopefully you guys saw the replacement video. <clears throat> All right, judgment, that's Aries and Scorpio. What are you putting your foot down on, Cancer? Mm, 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 mm. Lies, deceit, and cheat. Uh, cheating is what I'm hearing. Um, I do kind of feel like somebody either went MIA or ghosted you. And Cancer, you are D-O-N-E. You are tired and sick and sick and tired of this person's games and lies and hurting your feelings. Um, um, also hearing maybe some of you guys chewed your person out. And by chewed your person out, I really do mean curse them out. Look at that just went into place. Nice. I really do mean curse them out. I feel like a lot of you guys gave them an earful whether it was, you know, verbally over the phone or their voicemail or a text message, um, you guys are not happy with your person. Yeah. I'm, I'm hearing that your person is continuing to fail to make you a priority is what I just heard. Okay, what do we have? What do we have? You got the temperance with the judgment. I feel like you guys feel like you have been as fair as you could possibly be. You've given this person chance after chance over and over and over again. You've been waited, you've waited long enough for them to get their ish together. Um, you guys are feeling pretty taken advantage of. You know, here's the abandonment card being left out in the cold, you know, being pushed to the side, being the option versus the priority. Um I'm hearing cancer. A lot of you guys may not necessarily agree with this, but angels are saying, well, they're questioning or wanting you to ask yourself, are you doing this to yourself to an extent by continuing to give your person the benefit of the doubt over and over again, when clearly over and over again, they're proving to you that they don't deserve it, right? So this 10 of pentacles is basically saying here, anytime I see the five and 10 together, it's almost like this is your current state and this is where you need to be. So you're a little deficient right now. Some of you guys can be depressed and in your heads and have your feelings hurt and feel like, you know, like you were taken for granted, you were taken advantage of, whatever the case is, and you're tired of it. You are wanting somebody to invest in you. You're wanting somebody to see your worth, to see your value, to show you how much they love you. And, you know, I'm also hearing somebody who... Not just that you, angels just said to me, you know, you deserve better, but now is the time for you to start choosing people who know that and treat you better also, Cancer. Um, what I'm also hearing too, for some of you guys who are giving people the benefit of the doubt, stop giving that to them. Let them earn it, okay? You got the seven of swords and 10 of swords. This is fool me twice, fool me three times, fool me four times, fool me five times. I kind of feel like whomever this is, whatever this situation is, it's a repeat offender. But again, this is that benefit of the doubt. This is you kind of going over and over, you know, kind of trying to rule out ways in which you think this person is not going to hurt you again, right? It's almost like, okay, they've already done this, so they can't do that again. Or if they attempt to do that again, I'll just know to pull out and move away. So it's like, okay, we move that to the side. They did this. So it's almost like you, you're you expecting them to do bad, right? And it's almost like, okay, well, they've done everything, almost everything in the book. So it's almost like, okay, there are no, no more ways to hurt me. And cancer, that is ass backwards twice, okay? As in, you keep racking your brain. Angels just keep saying to me, you keep falling short. You keep coming up short. Because you keep getting, it's almost like you're giving this person the swords to stab you in the back. And what's giving them the swords to stab you in the back, Cancer, is giving them the benefit of the doubt. I can't say that anymore. 
I won't say it anymore. Okay. Um, you're giving them credit that they don't deserve. You are thinking things about them. You're giving them potential that they haven't earned, right? You're giving them, what is the other word? Um, it's almost like you're giving them basically saying like, okay, well, they have to think that they've hurt me already and they want to make that up to me. Thank you, angels. They want to make that up to me. So I don't think they will hurt me again. Angels just clarified and says you're making excuses for them. Thank you so much, angels. Okay, with a hermit and then also the Leo card. This is your pride, right? It's almost like your pride is keeping you from seeing that this person is not being who you want. For a lot of you guys, this person is not even present, right? As in, whenever they're around you, they could be on the phone, they could be doing this, they could be doing that, they could be talking about everybody under the sun versus talking about what's going on with you, asking about you. Um, and I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're trying to hang in there. I don't know why, right? Not only that, but the strength card for me as a reader is also a card of trust and saying, yeah, go ahead and look at the, look down the throat of a lion or in the mouth of a lion and just know that you'll be okay. But that with the hermit card is almost like this person is not even present enough to validate whether you'll be okay or not. So it's almost like you keep trusting this person over and over, but they keep disappearing. They're not even showing up for that trust. You got a lot of swords on this table, right? You got the three, two of swords and the three of swords. The three of swords, of course, is pain and betrayal, right? The three of swords also represents, you know, third party situations, finding out this person had somebody else. But that there with that two of swords says to me, I kind of feel like cancer you knew. But maybe you thought they were over and done with that. And again, maybe you thought, okay, well, they know if they still keep dealing with this person, that's going to hurt me. So I don't think they would do that for me. And for some of you, they absolutely did, right? This reading to me does not look like a reading about your person, right? Now, at the end of the day, your person could just be an, an everyday shit bag, right? But this reading to me, Cancer feels like the excuses that you make for this person to keep them in your life because you are afraid to let them go. Sorry, guys. That's what I'm getting. Okay. And with the page of wands and also the death card, it's almost too like you let, let this person, you believe them when you shouldn't. There's no other way to say that. I, I'm so sorry, Cancer. But it's almost like you're believing what it is that they're telling you. And the pages in the tarot, you guys know, are kids, they're babies. They don't know no better. They don't have experience. They don't have knowledge. They don't have life experiences. So I feel like, again, this person is telling you things and leading you places and, and you know, exciting you and motivating you and making you think, Oh, it's going to be different this time. And then before you know it, you're walking away and walking out of it yet again. Right? The signs you have here on the table, we have Scorpio. We have Leo and Virgo. And then we have Sag and Aries and Scorpio. Angel just said to me, a lot of pig-headed uh, energy on the table. Let's see what Moonology has for you, Cancer. Mm, that's interesting. A lot of pig head signs on the table, meaning a lot of stubborn signs are on the table. You got Leo with the ego. You got Virgo with the impulsiveness and anxiety. You got Scorpio, which is just stubborn all day long. Aries is hard headed and stubborn. Sagittarius, which is stubborn also. So it's almost like a lot of stubborn energy on this table. Which to me, Cancer, sounds like maybe you're being too stubborn because you are still wanting this to go your way. And the fact that it's not going your way, maybe for a lot of you guys, it's like you just refuse to let go. You're going to keep hanging in there. You're going to keep trying this over and over again. And I would say to you, God bless you. A win-win outcome is forecasted. Full moon in Libra. That to me is uh, balance, right? Justice, karma, restored, turning wrongs into right. So I do kind of feel like cancer, if you are needing 
to see this situation for what it is, right? Instead of, you know, continuing to lie to yourself or not necessarily knowing what to believe, I do feel like the universe is working on an answer for you. Okay? Let's see what other Moonology cards we have. The energy is gaining momentum. Is that waxing? Waxing moon. Yeah. I feel like an outcome, it says a win-win uh, uh, outcome is forecasted. I do feel like, Cancer, you're going to get your answer soon. And there is a card in there. A, a new start is coming. New moon. Ah, nice. I think cancer for you, it's just a matter of you pulling those wool, the wool from up over your eyes, you know, kind of um, pulling yourself out of this denial state, you know, kind of thinking and making excuses for your person. I think when you kind of come out of that, um, your new beginning can, can take place. Bring love into the situation, new moon in Aquarius. To me, cancer, that's love for yourself not love for you. I'm not saying not to love your person, but I, I'm saying you need to love yourself more, first of all, than anybody else, but definitely more than whatever this situation is. I couldn't see you loving yourself, Cancer, and continuing to put up with this, by the way. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to go ahead and leave it there. If you're interested in a personal reading, my contact details are below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, Cancer. Love you. Bye.